If you're concerned about nature and the environment and the plight of the, the planet, it's often really hard to see how you can actually do anything to contribute. We saw this project as a really great way to have some sort of tangible impact. Well, we're out in the wild deserts, this amazing part of Sturt National Park, made even more fantastic with this project that we're doing here. We've taken over 35,000 hectares of the National Park to manage and restore this desert ecosystem. Really, it is about what was this landscape when First Nations people were here and they were living off these very productive landscapes and trying to think about getting that back into this sort of place. This project wouldn't work without Reese Pedler and Rebecca West. They're a couple that epitomises everything that you want in individuals that really want to make an impact. They have the scientific nous and training. They are the glue that keeps everything together. When we were talking about coming here, I was a bit worried about what life would be like in somewhere so remote. I mean, it's not physically possible to be any further from Sydney than we are at Fort Grey here and still be in New South Wales. To go for a checkup, a pregnancy scan in Broken Hill, um, you know, that's... An overnight trip. Yeah, at least mm -hmm. one night. Sometimes it's what, a 350 kilometre round trip to go to play group for the morning um, up into some of our neighbouring uh, stations up in southwest Queensland. Being out here, we get to have the experiences that most people who live in a city just long to do and are always really envious um, of, you know, think, oh, what a life to be able to do that. And, you know, we do have that opportunity. Our brief is to reintroduce these seven locally extinct mammals and manage a portion of Sturt National Park, but the wild desert's vision is actually much more broad and holistic. The breadth of what we have to do to get this project to keep running smoothly is extensive and really varied. We've got this um, 50 kilometre fence network, so that includes two 2,000 hectare exclosures from which we've removed all the cats and foxes and rabbits. We actually have a huge um, job in just maintaining those fences themselves. So we have to be out checking the fences, checking the electrical currents on, on one of the paddocks. Um, we have to um, check camera traps to look at kangaroo numbers inside the wild training zone. So it's a very variable role. And I guess there's um, a whole other side, which is community engagement and stakeholder engagement and actually communicating the results of the project. Yeah, and a lot of the logistics, I mean, even this mm -hmm. week, we had a vehicle, uh, we have uh, one of the um, PhD students up here driving a vehicle and there was a uh, rock through the sump yesterday. So, uh, you know, trying to repair the sump on this, um, this four drive or uh, trying to order up um, equipment and supplies. We've tried to learn a lot from YouTube. Something breaks yeah. and you have to YouTube it and try and work out how to I fix it because you can't call someone. And I think maybe one of the challenges um, is the work-life balance. There isn't really much downtime or time off because there's just always something to do. Uh, but we do always try and sit down as a family for an evening meal at the end of the day before night work or whatever else is being fitted in around. So. Yeah, it's an important time for us. We try as much as possible as we can to have um, Ellie, our nanny, and Isla actually coming out to experience things in the field. So when we're doing releases, um, it's been really important for us that Isla's there to witness those events and understand what we're doing.
I guess I'm really interested in helping to restore a little patch of the outback. Place has changed beyond all recognition by some of those um, really early uh, impacts of European colonisation with rabbits and sheep and cattle. That recovery that we've um, laid the foundations for, where we've removed the feral species from these exclosures, um, you know, that the, the changes can, can now uh, start taking place. Uh, the, the little seedlings that are coming up of these long-lived perennial shrubs and, and long-lived grasses aren't being nibbled off by rabbits anymore. Maybe for me personally, I'm here to make sure that those seven animals go in, but more importantly that we get to learn from that opportunity. So I see my role um, to make sure that that's as well documented as possible so that people um, you know, can learn from this. You realise that you can play a role in actually making sure that some of these um, ecosystems are going to be available for future generations to enjoy. And I think that's something that drives me being a parent.